everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Brick, creator of the Style Shaker, your good green queen beauty. Today I am back with an unboxing from Integrity Botanicals. I have some seriously solid sample assortments. It's a huge, huge alliteration. Anyway, I am gonna dive into this box, show you what I got. There's some goodies in here that I think you're gonna wanna see. Stick around and let's get into it. Heads up, if you're going from toxic to non-toxic and have no clue where to start, check out my free green beauty guide back on the website. It's the one pager I wish I had when I first started out. In the meantime, don't forget to like this video and make sure you subscribe so you never miss another one. Looking good, girl. My receipt, we don't need that. Mm -mm. Got a little baggie here. What's happening? This is probably where I get the samples. Yes, before I could check out, you get three free samples, and it was like, oh my god, there's so much to choose from, and so many brands that everyone's been asking me to try, one of which is Sappho. So I'm going to try their Essentials Foundation. It's a tiny little thing, but filled with foundation. And I have the Sappho Concealer. I have the Sappho CC Cream. So like, a lot of Sappho. I'm gonna give it a shot. Better than buying the whole thing. Now, what else do I have that's full size? Okay. First, the Air Perez Avocado Mascara. Waterproof mascara. You guys have been asking me about this for a very long time. I finally got it. I'm just building my Air Perez collection slowly. So here it is. Nice brush overall. Not sometimes it whoa. What does that smell like? I don't know. It's definitely a Definitely a scent. Not your brushiest brush, you know? Like, there's not a ton of Brussels. Brussels? Bristles? I'm just gonna put it on top of what I currently have. This is not the way to do it. I just kinda wanna see. Okay, it's nice. It's a thicker formula. From what I can tell, at first glance, first impressions. Nice. I like it. But I gotta put it on blank canvas, AKA lashes, so. I will come back with more there. Next, I have the Arnica Concealer from Air Perez, and I have this in Latte. Kind of weird choosing the colors. I got a little, I don't know, you never know. It's like always a risk, but let's. this looks really good for me. This is the Latte color. Very creamy looking, a lot of great reviews. Very silky, ooh. Kind of giving me Hint Duet Perfecting Concealer vibes. And Arnica. Oh wow, I, have, I mean I've set on top of all of this, so this is again, just random first impression. Arnica is also one of my favorites just for sore muscles, just saying, so when it read Arnica, when I saw Arnica on the ingredients list, I was like, oh, okay. I mean, not like I have sore muscles under my eyes, but I'm sure there are other benefits I will dig into and read about. This is really nice so far and reminds me very quickly of the Hint Duet Perfecting Concealer, which is one of my all-time favorites. The next item I have here is from Sappho. It is their Vegan Mascara Black. I totally spaced and forgot that I bought this. Whatever. I've been since moving. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't get it out. I have been, you know when you're go, 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 and then you're taking up a lot of brain energy and then you stop and you either get a cold or you just kind of like hibernate for a few days. I feel like I'm in that post running like a chicken with my head cut off phase, or I was. I think I'm now coming out of it. So I don't really know what happened for the last week. Sort of in a daze, but I think I'm out of it now. I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> That's why I think I might have bought this and not remembered. Okay, so this is the type of wand and brush that I usually don't like, but I'm not going to prejudge. I'm gonna try this on the other eye. It's just for some reason, it doesn't always give me the most impactful look. Off the bat, off the bat, off the bat there. I think this is going to be more natural looking for my lashes. I can't tell yet, but I don't I don't feel as positive about this one as I do the Air Perez. You know, you try a million mascaras and you start to kind of know pretty quickly, but I do like to try all this stuff out for at least a week before I review it for you all. Okay, and here's the final thing, you guys. I can't believe I haven't tried this yet because I have had so many people recommend this to me recently and it should be a part of something that I've tried if I'm doing a true foundation test and doing roundups of favorites for you. Finally got the 100% pure water foundation, Ermin Gear. Finally got it, very excited. Full coverage, a lightly dewy finish. I have this in Warm 2.0. I'm a big fan of, wow, plastic. Of 100% Pure. A lot of their products have worked very well for me. Some of them have failed, but the majority of them I've really actually liked. It doesn't say to shake it, but at this point I'm just, just going with my gut. Very light. 
Very light. Blending in quite nicely. Big matching is always tricky. This looks very, very fair for me. However, mama loves a good bronzer, so you can see. That's just, a, that's a whole bunch of it on the skin. It'll sheer out a little bit. Oh God, it feels great though, which is what everybody was saying. Hmm. That seems very promising, especially going into the drier, colder months. This might be a real win. That feels very nice. The texture is kind of wonderful. Sorry, I'm just staring at my hand now. That's rude. There you go. That is it from Integrity Botanicals. Hi, Integrity Botanicals. How you doing? So excited I got to know you. And I have one other special unboxing. I've kind of already unboxed, and this is a PR present from Jane Iredale. Why would Jane Iredale send me this whole Nike package? But there was this whole thing that they did beyond matte liquid foundation. So they sent the shades that I really, really love and tried after giving me the samples to test, which I still have, which I've got to send out to you guys. So I have that in here. And I feel like this is one of those things that you can do cross body, not like a giant fanny pack. But they're doing this whole kind of beyond just the makeup and they gave me Where's the card? I know there's a card and I'm like butchering it right now. It's filled with all of these goodies. There's like a bar in here and it tells you what you need at different times of the day. So it's sort of like a healthy wellness day in the life. 7 a.m. Busy mornings mean that you need your coffee to stay hot from kitchen to train. So they gave a disposable cup from Stojo. It's just like our three-in-one foundation multitasks as a primer, concealer, and foundation so you can save time during your crazy mornings. In 18 self-adjusting shades, getting the perfect match is one less thing you have to worry about. So they're talking all about three-in-one, all about the time saving, all about small little ways to positively impact your day. And I am loving it. So the 7 p.m. capture your on-point evening look with a quick selfie without worrying about dropping your phone. Pop sockets, Jane Iredale pop sockets. Look at you, Jane Iredale. And then it kind of touches on what the foundation can do, like a benefit of the foundation. Kind of like the marketer in me really loves this on a lot of levels. I just think it's fun and creative. And then this is a what is this? So this is the original Blom. I don't know about that name. Dial training, there's like 800 ways to wear it. Urban pleats, diagonal fold. Wow, okay, so that'll give me, I'll be busy for the next couple of hours. This is so you can wear it when you're working out, you can wear it when you're traveling, you can wear it all day long, every day. Take it off your makeup, all the rest of it. Anyway, thank you, Jane Iredell. This is incredible. This is quite the gift, and I will be using all of these. I do love the Beyond Matte Foundation. I wish the ingredients were a little bit better, but in terms of performance, it is really one of my favorites that I just listed in a fuller coverage foundation favorites video. So there's more information about that. I'll put links below for you to keep it easy peasy, you know the deal. Um, that's all I have for today. I have another box coming from Safe and Chic. I can't wait to unbox it. But for now, thank you so much for watching and unboxing with me. I hope you enjoyed this and saw a couple of first impressions. These are just the appetizers for the reviews that are about to hit the channel. So uh, yeah, I'm off to test the rest of these and I'll see you guys right back here real soon. Until then, bye.